Forsyth Tech, education for life. The Forsyth Tech Transportation Technology Center is home to the college's transportation technology programs, offering students the opportunity to train in a state-of-the-art facility. It is much more than simply a training facility, however. Students at the Transportation Technology Center have their own computer labs, counseling services, bookstore, tutoring services, all the services available on the college's main campus. This allows students to do everything necessary to complete their degree entirely at the Transportation Technology Center. The program started in 1999 without Richard Childress's name on it, and within a few years uh, we were producing quality students uh, Richard Childress Racing actually has over 20 of our graduates working at his facility, which brought it to his attention of what kind of uh, student we were uh, graduating in our class. He came and paid a couple visits, uh, realized uh, the importance of this program, how good a program it is, which I, I feel like we have one of the, the best motorsports programs uh, available today, and he wanted to be a part of it. So, the, you know, the deal was made, uh, and Richard Childress put his name on our program and backs us all the way. Having the Richard Childress name on the program reflects a commitment to excellence that is seen in his success. He calls our graduates some of our best employees. We have certificate programs, but our, our main core, uh, deal is the uh, two-year associate degree program. Uh, we uh, have 76 credit hours, which is the maximum amount of credit hours for an uh, associate degree program. From in that 76 credit hours, which is, is five semesters, we cover race car from bumper to bumper. Uh, we build the drivetrains, the differentials, the transmissions, we build the engines, we build the bodies, the chassis, the roll cage. Uh, when a student leaves here, he's qualified to go to work in the motorsports industry in a number of different facets. Students learn using the same equipment the professional race teams employ. They leave the program ready to step in and do almost any job needed. A lot of our students are actual active racers that are taking the program just to further their own racing career. So, you know, we do put a number of graduates into the motorsports industry, but there are also people that's coming through just to gain knowledge of racing and motorsports that are not really looking for an employment position. Uh, we, we graduate some racers that have been highly successful as a racer. Uh, ourselves, we race a car out of here at A Speedway, and we've been fortunate enough to win three championships with this car, which is a good testimony to the quality of student we have because the students build the engines and work on that car here at Forsyth Tech. We, we cover it from bumper to bumper. Uh, students leave here qualified to work on any part of a race car. Uh, they gain a lot of skill levels that will also uh, help them out if they decide to go in a different field, such as the aerospace division. Uh, basic skill levels of race car technology are also used in the aerospace industry. Students learn using the same equipment the professional race teams employ. They leave the program ready to step in and do almost any job needed. This makes our graduates highly sought after. Program graduates have been hired by Richard Childress Racing, Hendrick Motorsports, and Roush Fenway Racing. This is our flagship here. Uh, this is a car that the students built uh, in trim of, of the current cup rules. It has two seats because we use it for demonstration purposes and for recruiting purposes. Uh, the students did build this car. They built the engine, the body, the chassis, every piece of this car from the ground up. The collision repair auto body program here at Forsyth Tech is responsible for the beautiful paint job that you see. We have a great relationship with uh, Winston-Salem State University, them being a four-year university and us a technical college, we're not really competing against each other. Uh, they have uh, motorsports management skills, we have technical skills, so we actually complement each other. Uh, we're housing their car right now, it needed a little technical work doing to it and uh, we're taking care of that for them. And in turn, you know, they help us out with the management program uh, also. And we teach a course here at Forsyth Tech for Winston-Salem State University, Technical Aspects 101 for their four-year uh, motorsports degree program.
Students in the Richard Childress Race Car Technology Program have built a complete 750 horsepower Sprint Cup car from the ground up. Program training is hands-on and covers every aspect of race car construction and maintenance. The engine, the chassis, the transmission, the gears, and so on. This comprehensive program prepares you to do virtually any job associated with building and maintaining top performance race cars. Careers for those with this degree are available in racing teams, fabrication shops, engine shops, sports marketing, and major race equipment suppliers. They did all the interior, uh, all the sheet metal that you see inside, the aluminum, the, the, all that was done with students. And you know, the, occasionally they'll make some mistakes, but these are entry level students. Some of them have never uh, did this kind of work before in their life. Uh, one of the things that we take pride in in the program is taking a student that has no background in mechanical or racing or anything and taking them from that ground level up to a level that they can be employed in motorsports. Uh, they're trained on the same equipment that they're going to find at Hendrick and Richard Childress and Roush. So when they leave here, they can go right in there and be a productive employee. A lot of the technology that we use in motorsports, we get from the aviation industry, such as this machine over here. This is a Magnaflux machine. It checks for cracks and parts. So uh, that's one of the reasons you don't have airplanes falling out of the sky all the time. It's because they're constantly checked with a machine like this. So we use that in our race car parts to make sure we're not putting a cracked part back in a race car. Uh, they learn from, from the aviation. Aviation is a, is a great uh, learning tool for motorsports. So, and some of our students actually go into the aerospace aviation industry because of the skill set being so similar. A lot of history right here. Some of the older pictures of Forsyth Tech with the automotive program uh, been around for a number of years. A lot of students have graduated from these programs. Well, first of all, they need to find out what they what they want to specialize in. They may be interested in the Toyota TTN program here at the Transportation Center, which is a great program. Uh, they may be interested in the Collision Repair Auto Body program. Uh, they may be interested in diesel, heavy equipment. Uh, we offer that here as well as motorcycle. Uh, we offer the Richard Childress Race Car Technology Program. We have something for everyone at Forsyth Tech. Uh, here at the Transportation Center, if, if you have an interest in anything motorized, uh, we can cover it from, from end to end or bumper to bumper, as we say. You can contact me at 336-757-3247 if you're interested in race car technology. And I can put you in touch with the other programs if uh, so that you desire that, that race car is not yours. Uh, you know, everybody's different. Everybody likes something different. Uh, every program here is highly successful and very qualified. Come calm aboard the high trend of High Point. Serving the community since 1978, the High Trend invites you to experience the safest and convenient way to commute within a community. Rather going to work, school, or any other important commute, High Trend has made it possible for you to track the nearest bus to where you are. Now you can download the High Trend app. Here you'll find bus routes, schedules, and times of all departures and arrivals. For more information, visit highpointhightrend.gov. If you're looking for a place your child can play safely and make new friends. If you're looking for a community of families where your child can feel at home. And if you're looking for an opportunity for your child to grow and build a foundation, then sign them up for South Little League of Winston-Salem. For over 50 years, South Little League has brought kids and their families closer together. Talent is found and developed every day at our fields. And through games, volunteer work, and community events, we've created a group that is sure to impact your life. Come check us out at 810 West Clemensville Road, or visit us online at southlittleleague.com. There are three types of baseball players, those who make it happen, those who watch it happen, and those who wonder what happened. At South Little League, we make it happen.
your part to feed those in need. Forsyth County Community Gardens is a great way to spend your day. Donate some time and effort for a good cause while making new friends at your nearest community garden. For more information, go to www.ForsytheCommunityGardening.com. As a student at Forsyth Technical Community College, you have rights. Know your rights as a student. Visit the Student Code of Conduct at ForsytheTech.edu. Forsyth Tech, education for life. Audio Jungle. Collision repair and refinishing technologies. Here, students work on every aspect of their repair and refinishing, often turning junkers into showpieces worthy of display. This type of training makes them highly sought after by body shops and dealerships that rely on good worksmanship. In addition to cars, students learn the intricacies of repairing and building custom motorcycles. A fully equipped paint booth allows students to learn the intricacies of painting an automobile, which requires booth precision and an artistic eye. Techniques can open up many career possibilities. This program uses hands-on shop experience to train you in the construction, repairing, rebuilding, and refinishing of an automobile body. Graduates find employment at dealerships, parts counters, auto paint shops, and custom and refurbishing shops. My name is Brandon Reynolds. I'm a current student at Forsyth Tech Community College, earning my associate's degree in engineering, studying collision repair and refinishing at the Technology Center. The great thing about the Technology Center is that it, it offers students the opportunity to be placed in, in the auto body trade as far as the automotive trade and the industry using the leading tools that will put them in the position they need to be that when they graduate they can go into entry level training and entry level uh, employment and, and, and prosper very well. Um, it will take people that, that have no clue as, as to where to begin. I mean you go over there and they, they break it down from day one and uh, teach you everything you need all the way up to customization, which is really big in this industry at this point. It's, it's a great program. The instructors are very knowledgeable. Everything over there is, is state of the art. We have one of the best facilities in the, in the, the eastern, eastern seaboard, as a matter of fact, not just the state alone. The facility is outstanding. Like I said, the staff is great. And whatever you want to get into, whether it being uh, minor detailing or if you want to be a custom painter like those guys you see on TV. I mean they have all the tools needed to get you to that point. Another great thing about the Transportation Center over at Forsyth Tech is the opportunity to take place and perform in the skills competition. Uh, skills USA is a, is a nationwide competition in which all the community colleges, uh, post-secondary uh, and high school students can uh, compete among other students to see what they've learned, how far they've progressed throughout the years um, just in that trade alone. Um, I myself had the opportunity to compete in skills last year in 2015 in which I, I won first for the state and I was able to go to the national level in which I came in 10th place for the entire nation. And just to go out there and meet the, the, the top dogs in the industry and, and, and converse with those guys, they tell you exactly what you need to do and where you need to focus and, and what you need to work on and, and how good you know things can really be if you take this industry serious. In here, uh, we use this classroom, we have like 30 computers, and we use it for writing estimates like you have in a, in a regular, uh, like nationwide, all state, or farmers, or whatever the case might be. But we have this software uh, that will show us how to, how to write an estimate, and it's done automatically. Uh, the only thing it doesn't tell us is how much it really, for the actual repair, we have to put that 
and as we educate the students for them actually being able to uh, to perform the repair. We have a software on the internet system just like a regular dealership does. We can uh, plug in, we put the VIN numbers, it tells us what vehicle and everything that's in there. Uh, it will tell us right down to T. We go in inside, if it's the front fender's damaged, then it will tell us uh, to replace the fender. We run a comparison on it, uh, and it gives it, we put the flat rate in it, and it continues to, to show us what the cost was. It will also tell us uh, how much we can spend up vehicle based on the actual cost of the vehicle at a particular price. All that data is fed in monthly in through what we call CC Pathway, and it's, it's part of the motor manual uh, system. So it's really unique in itself, uh, and it also gives some students an opportunity when they go in a shop, when they get a work request that they know what they got to repair. And if they're on flat rate, then it tells them how much they're making an hour or two. So it's really unique in itself, uh, this particular program. When you ride the High Point High Trend, you are connected to just more than just the city limits. You are connected to the triad. High Point High Trend is now partnered with Park Transit. Now from the High Trend Terminal, you can board the Park Express that would take you to the Park Hub located near the Piedmont International Airport, where there you would transfer and depart to either the Greensboro or Winston-Salem Terminal where each city can accommodate you through their bus system. Make hotel accommodations for the evening. Enjoy a day of shopping. Take in the big game. Then treat yourself to dinner. Return home the next day feeling refreshed. Now does that sound like a plan? Then contact High Point High Trend at highpointhightrend.gov for a list of routes and schedules. High Point High Trend getting you to your destination. Forsyth Technical Community College invites you to join us Friday, October 16th, 2016 for the annual Fall Festival. There will be free food along with the inflatable games. Participating in this year's festival will be the Pink Walk, the Human Services Club, the Minority Male Mentoring Program, the Student Nurses Association, and the National Guards. So mark this date down, Friday, October 16th, 2016 for the Fall Festival on the campus of Forsyth Tech. If you would like more information on this great event, go to ForsythTech.edu. Gardening is considered our nation's most popular pastime, yielding fresh fruits and vegetables for the dinner table. Do your part to feed those in need. Forsyth County Community Gardens is a great way to spend your day. Donate some time and effort for a good cause while making new friends at your nearest community garden. For more information, go to www.foresightcommunitygardening.com. Diesel and Heavy Equipment Technology. This program will instruct you in the repair and maintenance of medium and heavy duty vehicles such as road tractors and trailers, earth moving equipment, farm equipment, and other diesel powered equipment. Graduates are prepared for employment in dealerships, fleet shops, or in an independent garage as a technician.
chambers, lack of justice. Oh, it's, it's, most colleges you go to, it's all good work. But the business is, you get, you get in the shop and you get to work on the trucks. And they're better prepared for when you get out of your job. On our job, sir. Uh, it's a great place to be. The heavy equipment section of the transportation center was specially built to accommodate the type of equipment students use in their training. There's enough room to pull in two 53-foot rigs and to jack them up for maintenance and repairs. Using real full-size semi-tractor trailers allows the students to get a hands-on experience. This will ensure that they will be well prepared for anything they see after being hired by a trucking firm or garage. I'm sure you students may still have more questions, so here to answer those questions is diesel and heavy equipment instructor Axel Torres. Here at the transportation center, we have a very comprehensive uh, diesel and heavy equipment technology program. Um, in our program, we teach students engine rebuild and repair, transmission rebuild and repair, differentials and power dividers, and so brakes. Electrical electronics, and we also have uh, welding specific for diesel and heavy equipment. Uh, the student can expect to come in and take all of his classes, and when they're completed, uh, they'll be able to work on any component on the truck. What kind of certification will a student receive upon completion of this program? As far as certification, we have external and internal. I'll, I'll address the interns first. As part of our program, we like to bring outside companies in, like Joseph Bickley's. Uh, we like to bring in Mary Ford, uh, Bendis, and, and the like. And what we do is, they'll give our students some training and then they'll run them through a certification exam. So a student can get a, a certification exam for uh, Snap on Meter certification, Joseph Bickley's, uh, Bendis grades, Mary Ford grades. Um, then there's the external as well. We've got AAC certifications, and we help the students work to achieve a 609 recovery recycling licensing, and also we encourage them to take their AACs uh, for heavy trucks, uh, team up the weight. The good thing about this training facility is that we also house an ASC uh, training center that the students can take their ASC upon completion of each course. Where do students normally land jobs at upon completion of this program? Upon completion of this, of this program, whatever students have done, they can get jobs in the uh, trucking industry. There's a lot of companies like Mac, Volvo, Kenworth, uh, and so on that they can get jobs at. But they, they can also get jobs at fleet companies. Uh, one of our big supporters, Salem Trucking, uh, we have a lot of students working for them. That's a great company. Also, Hillco, um, HFCF, Pepsi, and the like, companies like that, fleet service companies. And we also have students that like to work in places like uh, TA and the Flying J, where they also have uh, technicians working for them. Uh, one of the special things about our program is that since the people that support us are always in need of technicians, uh, usually a student, can, uh, before they complete the program, they end up working for one of these companies prior to graduation. And that's a great thing because they're putting what they're learning here in our school to practice in real life vehicles. We know the Transportation Center offers a variety of programs. What separates the diesel and heavy equipment program from the other programs here on campus? You know, that's a good question, and uh, it's really a tough one to answer. The reality of it is that all the programs here at the Trans Transportation Center are one of the best programs there is. So whether it's race car technology, Toyota T10, collision repair, or diesel, you're getting the best training that is, that is being given in this area. So I can't really say that diesel is separated from them as a better program. They're all great programs. We just do something different. We work on heavy trucks while they capitalize on vehicles, smaller vehicles, uh, passenger vehicles. 
if there was one need to know fact about this program for a student considering coming to this campus, what would it be? I think that when it comes to a student knowing one fact about a visa program that makes it different from other visa programs is the fact that we're heavily hands-on. We do have lecture times in the classroom, but then we come out here in the shop and we actually work on equipment. The vehicles that we have here don't belong to the school. They belong to companies that support our program. So when we're working on, tra on, on our transmissions, for instance, uh, companies will send us vehicles that have uh, transmission repairs, clutches, so on and so forth. Um, our students get to actually repair these live vehicles here at, at the transportation center and get a real-world experience on making repairs. Once they get done, we get to operate the vehicle here and make sure that it's operating properly. Then we send the vehicle back to the company that it belongs to. The great thing about that is that I hear many students tell me, hey, that vehicle that I worked on, I seen it going down the road, uh, and I was telling my parents, look, Mom, I fixed that truck. And that gives the student real pride for their accomplishment. That's what makes it so special. That's what they can expect. Know your rights as a student. For Scythe Tech. So it's really easy to take our water for granted. But water quality is very important. And one really easy way to improve water quality in your own landscape is to put it in a rain garden. All the water can run off into the landscape and go into this pocket depression area that has all these really great little plants in it that help to soak up some of the water, but a lot of the pollutants, and put the water back in the ground where it belongs. Forsyth Soil and Water Conservation District and Natural Resources Conservation Service have nearly 75 years experience working to assist the property owners in Forsyth County with conserving of their soil, water, and other natural resources. From the mountain waters of Stokes County to city drainage, delivering fresh water to our residents daily, the site County asks that its residents be mindful not to waste our most precious resource, H2O. Water is life. A message from Forsyth County Water Conservation. We believe hugs heal the triad, helping the community through love and faith. Give love and hugs. For more information, go to irockmycurvesthebest.com. We would love to add you to our team. Come celebrate Constitution Day on the campus of Forsyth Technical Community College. Enjoy the day of food, fun, and games, Thursday, September 15, 2016. For more information, go to ForsytheTech.edu. Baseball is a spirited race of man against man, reflect against reflex, and a game of inches. Every skill is measured, every heroic, every failing is seen and cheered or booed. Baseball is always and will be America's pastime. Sign up now at SouthLittleLeague.com. Getting to work and back has just got better for commuters on a budget. Now you can download a high trends app. Here you'll find bus routes, schedules, and times of all departures and arrivals. For more information, visit highpointhightrend.gov. 